Damn, this nigga got a whole goddamn. He really got a blow. Alright, so speaking on another music video, uh, you, you mentioned you just shot perfect or perf purpose. Purpose. Yeah, yesterday. most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, what was the the purpose behind that track? Most definitely, uh, the song we recorded it at like four or five in the morning. We were tired. Me and the dude was super tired, but we were like, let's make a song right now. Like when we don't even feel like making a song, like because it's our purpose. This is what we consider in our reason of doing what we're doing. Why you're tired. You should be able to push through fatigue. You should be able to do all these things. Uh, we know in life you face, every single day you face with different challenges and whatnot. So how can you serve your purpose at the highest levels every single day? Uh, and what can you do to embody it? Uh, in the music video, I was fighting my inner self. I was fighting uh, the higher me, which was the poised boxer, which was the Floyd Mayweather, the jab, jab, you know, you're on the fence. Then you had the slugger, the fierce fighter, the, the person that's battling with themselves subconsciously about their anxiety, their depression, their mental disorders, their whatever that could be, um, the things that are pushing them away um, from their purpose. Mm -hmm. So we kind of wanted to, you know, portray each side of it and did a boxing thing where, uh, shout out to Kevin Gates, I got the, the concept kind of from him. Uh, but to fight yourself, you know, and yeah. have that battle. So we had makeup artists, had everybody out there, had a referees, had um, full production, had like five, six cameras on set. So we was rolling, man, and things were just like, just straight up. Like, it really was a, a blessing to be a part of. Like, I know moving from I Can't Breathe, it was a dope concept. Then we shot on the lake and did some things. Uh, but to move to, to see this and to really show like how it's going to come out of you fighting your inner self. I actually hired someone to be a doppelganger to me, someone, you know, a lookalike. Um, so he was in there mimicking things like that, uh, mimicking some of the same things. Yeah, man, we went all out with the makeup. Like the video is uh, it is that and more, I'm sure. So shout out to my guys, LRP Films, Forex Filmmaker, Will and Kev. A salute to y'all for always rocking with me and um, building the brand with me, man. So. We got something coming on the way for sure. Check that out. Purpose is on the Marathon Music number two featuring my boy Hondo. So yeah, check that out. Yeah, we definitely look forward to seeing that when it drops. Definitely you know, appreciate that. When it drops, send it to me as well. You can yeah. promote it on our blog site for oh, you. Oh, most definitely. That's love for sure. Definitely. We'll send it to you fast way. Gotcha. I want to talk about <clears> your family and friends' support towards your music career. Most definitely. Um, do you feel a lot of support and or do you feel like it could be more? Or, you know, just explain. I, I think as humans, as people, and not just me or a creator, anyone feels like they could have more support in what they're doing. I feel like that's anyone. Yeah. You know, you could feel like you on top of the world. I'm sure Drake feel like he could have more support in some areas, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, my parents, my friends, uh, associates, business partners, they, they support because they know th who I am. They know that I'm going to do the work. They know that I like to prevail in my own sense. I have my leadership qualities about myself or whatever that may be. Um, so they kind of trust that automatically. And when they see me kind of put out the work, it just transpires and it's easy to support. Yeah. It's like, why, why hate on it? You know, if you hate on it, it's really something wrong with you because in each of my things, every, every time I'm doing something, I try to make sure I'm of service first, not of myself. So it's like, what can you really dislike about it, you know? So I try to keep that as transparent in my music, I try to stay authentic with that so people can always grasp to it at all times. And I think everything else just kind of fall easy from there, bro. Like, yeah. And about um, the city. You yeah. Like Marietta supports you, Atlanta supports you. Definitely. Um, Marietta, it started, is where it started, you know, kept it local. Yeah. Uh, it's actually, I actually came up with a, a slogan and I will gift you guys with some merchandise today that uh, I want to uh, do a brand project, uh, not just myself, but incorporate some other artists around the city, around Atlanta. And it's called Star Local Finish Global. My brand is a globe. So there's that. You will start local. Everyone builds their brand, no matter if you're from Wisconsin, Colorado, Denver, whatever you're from, Hawaii, you start local. Always you build grand. Mm -hmm. So Marietta did support me, does still support me, not discrediting that. 
Uh, but I also understand it's more than that. You're not gonna be a big artist just in your city and think you the pop and do like it. Put calm your ego down, like really, because you haven't put any groundwork. Truly, you have to get out. You have to go to a new region. You have to get some weird faces, some weird looks. Like what was that dude? Like you have to do those things, and until you do. Man, I just don't feel like you're really ready. But as far as support system, man, you got to go out there and find your market. Like, any artist that's looking for support, if you have friends or business partners that's not supporting you, don't feel discredited, but like, or don't feel like discouraged by it, I'm sorry, but make sure that you go find your market. Like, yeah. there's someone out there looking for what you're talking about. If you're talking about snacks and eating and whatever, go, someone wants that. If you are a jingle writer, Someone wants that. There's not to say that you can't do music. There's, there's so many people, business and corporations want hip hop beats. You hear 411 Pain commercial on the thing and they got a trap beat. Culture. You feel me? Like it's crazy how much hip hop has taken over. So people get discouraged that, oh man, somebody ain't took on my music. Well, you maybe just haven't sold it and packaged your exactly. product in the right way. So they can't grab it like they want you, you know, like you want them to. So people got to understand that, you know, it's not all, always about that minor, that local support. If you want to go global, you have to find your market, find your niche and really just perfect that. And everybody going to draw into that because you being authentic, I feel that's just my motive. That's my that's motto. exactly right. Yeah. And it kind of answers my next question because my next question was, do you feel like an artist has to have their city support? But like mm. you said, if you only want your city support, you're gonna stay local. You're gonna stay so local, you have exactly. To go out and expand, and, and get expand. The support from and that people. depends on that artist. If you mm. want to stay local, if you want to, if your dream is not to push a tour, a grand tour, to whatever link with this artist in this city, if that's not your dream, stay your lane, enjoy that. You know that's fine. But for the people that do want to go global, for the people that want to experience life in a different light, you know what I'm saying? I definitely believe that, yeah, it starts with the city, but it's all about everybody else, everybody else. Because, you know, your friends may not even buy your, your merchandise, you know, and that ain't no shame to them, ain't no harm, you know, uh, but... You may have a homie or somebody rocking Gucci and Louie in the spot before they even got on your That's brand. And you know you got a whole hoodie out, a tee out. You pushing all this on your website. But y'all going to do your performance and they dripped in the latest Louie yeah. and Gucci. Yeah. So are you really my partner? Are you really supporting me? Or are you here for the show? Like, which one is? And if that's the case, purchase a ticket. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's just me, though. You know, and it ain't no shame to people that have that, but that's how I really view it. If you're really going to have that support system, make it that. If we're going to do this, if we're going to make it look like this and walk into the club, all right, bet everybody throw a T-shirt on. You don't all have to have them the same color. I'm going to drop colors so y'all can have something, have different, something different. But you know what I'm saying? But let's walk in here. Okay, one person got a hey, sacrifice tonight, man. I'm going to be crazy tonight. Throw on a mascot head. Like, what? Yeah, Throwing a mask out here? Like, what? In the club? Yeah. Like, that's what we going to do. You, you know, it's just different. And I'm about marketing. I'm huge on marketing, advertising, stuff like that. So, you know, like I said, I create before I look at who's... I find the market and I just create within that market. I don't look at somebody supporting me because, you know, somebody like everybody, man. You know, no shout out, no diss to Lil Nas X or whatever. But there's a whole fan base of Lil Nas X people. Yeah. I'm not genuinely playing his music and listen to him, whatever. But somebody that's an example of somebody, and this man's a millionaire yep. off of one song, just one, and check the streams just and like, just one. So, you check know, the streams and it's hundred million streams, hundred million streams, them, so. and I don't have one of those streams. Come on, know. that's that. It just shows you like you don't need me to support it, but you can find it somewhere find else, it. and somebody want it. Yeah, that's real. I want to get into a couple of your businesses next. Definitely. Um, you're the owner of two businesses. Yes. Blinded World LLC and Built by Boston. Blinded World, yes Blinded indeed. Blinded World is more of the clothing. Yes indeed, that is the brand. And what was the inspiration for that? Uh, me and my brother, my business partner, not here at the moment, Nick. Um, he's actually in LA right now, um, vacationing. But we were out at uh, Edgewood. We were at an event off Edgewood in Atlanta doing some performing with um, Friday Night. His name is Friday Night, another artist. Um, I was, we were doing a song, we were performing, and he had a brand that he was pushing called Cotton Mouth. And him and the guy Cotton Mouth, they had shirts, and it was just like a tongue out with cotton on it. It was cool, it was dope. So we was on the stage, and I was me early into learning what branded merchandise and how to do it all. But it was my brand, I was just with so another nice. group. So we were doing that, but we seen a guy there named Mac Benton. Mac Benton was pushing shirts and merchandise with his face only on it. And I'm like, 
boy, you bold to really push your face. Yo, just your, your face. You're not like Drake. You're not no one. The notoriety is not there, but you're just bold enough to push this merchandise. You believe in yourself that much. So automatically we found, we, we went home. We was like, bro, why are we not pushing our brand? Me and my brother were like, why are we not doing it? So we came up with Blinded World. And when we found, we, we came up with the name and why we said Blinded World is because there's so many things that people either don't see, misconstrue, or whatever it may may be in life that uh that takes them away from their purpose, that they find a distraction in, whatever, all that kind of stuff. So it was like, what can Blinded World mean to be bigger than us? That's when we came up with the acronym. And the acronym is Believe, Love, Invest, and Determine Every Destiny. So it's Believe, Love, Invest, and then the N is alone, Determine Every Destiny. Wow. So it's a bigger meaning than just what it is. Exactly. And that's the whole point of the world being covered. Because as you can see, you know, you know, globes everywhere. <laughs> we just started branding it, tattooing it. I just didn't stop. And after that, it just kept going, kept going, kept going. Uh, and, and every artist needs to build that brand, I feel like. Every artist needs to build that brand. If you don't have it, it might fall short. But I'm not looking for so, someone to, to do my tour merchandise and stuff like that. So that's what made me want to create and get into clothing uh, early. And uh, I also was one of those artists that were like, one like best dress and shit like that. So I was into clothing, you know? So that's how it came about, man. Gotcha. And um, built by Boston. Yeah. That's more of- That's coach. personal training, that's okay, fitness. Personal training, okay. personal training gotcha. and fitness. That is my day to day. That is what I do um, outside of day trading and investing and stuff like that. Uh, that is my money maker throughout the week. Um, working with clients, I want to be involved. I like to be of service to others. So I'm able to do that through my personal training, us growing up as athletes our whole life, you know, most black guys do, you know, not just black guys, but just our culture, we do. We grow up that way, playing sports, baseball, basketball, whatever, all three, sports, all four, music, everything, goes everything right you go right in the hand in hand. So swag with the sports and, you know, even Brian and listen to the newest YG and YG at the game and Nipsey shaking hands with Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Like it just all tying together. So to know that that's really what it does. Um, I found a way to do what I love, to stay creative, and to get paid for it. My mentor told me to find those three things, and I'm able to do that and keep a roof over my head, man. I can't complain. Like, yeah, that's life. It's amazing, yeah. And I've been training for, what, six, five, six years, making music for seven. That's pretty much my whole adulthood. <laughs> that's a blessing. Like for you sure. You're doing what you love to do. Yeah. And because, like I said, a couple years ago, I would have never thought I'd be traveling Doing what you love. And, you know, That's what made me have to invest in you. As soon as you say you were from Florida, I'm like, oh, I hope he could come through today. That makes it that much better. Like the reason that you're from Florida and you decide to travel the distance to connect with artists here or to do whatever, that just shows that your hustle for your craft and your branding, what you guys believe in, him believing in you or trusting you to do these kind of things, uh, come in someone, a stranger's home, no longer a stranger. Glad to meet y'all. But uh, all those kind of things, it just, you know, that's commendable, man. I just love it. So I had to invest and get my money. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Well, um, let our subscribers know, like, where they can find you on all platforms. Definitely. Okay, let's take about five minutes for all these platforms. But, <laughs> um, but nah, Blinded World LLC is the main um, page for my brand. If you want to find clothing, merchandise, all those things. Speaking of clothing and merchandise, I'm a man of my word. I like to hand you guys some clothing and merchandise yes, while we are on camera to let you guys know they are now stamped with that Blinded World merch. Um, not only that, follow my Built by Bostic page and that's Built, B-U-I-L-T, by, B-Y, Bostic is my last name, B-O-S-T-I-C-K, Built by Bostic. You can find me there. B-B-B is the, the, the uh, icon that you'll see. Um, so that's me. There's my fitness page. If you want to know all about my music, upcoming events, my documentaries, uh, that's out right now, shot by LRP Films, all that kind of stuff, follow me at I am underscore count up with a K and that's K-O-U-N-T-U-P. So that's count up with a K and K stand for 1000. So at I am count up. Follow me on all those platforms. I follow back. I show love, not a stranger. Hey man, we'll see y'all at the top because the bottom is way too crowded to dig. All right, man, count up. Appreciate you again. Yes, indeed. We look forward to following you in the future. Yeah, Link most definitely. Up, you know, on some projects, whatever we got, you know, whatever the future has in store for both of our brands. Most so, definitely. All right, MSTV, we out.